Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? Dave Boyd here, and just want to talk about some of my, a lot of people have been asking me, like, what's your favorite set? And of course, we know that's 7662, the MTT, from 2007, is an all-around favorite set. Yeah, I do have other sets I like. I even have some non-Lego stuff I like. And of course, you know, from the past, and obviously I'm pretty fond of these things here, which means I got a Trade Federation thing going, but anyways to show this one more time because some of you guys reached out to me and you gave some really good tips which i'm gonna get into that on another video um and i'm not gonna change the shirt it's gonna be literally one video after another first of all i'm gonna talk about my favorite brick i need one more to finish my collection I, these things are losing their clutch i need a clear one and then if you notice that's the colors of the original lego packaging these are called 702 bricks they came out in 56 i believe some of the A-folds out there may know more than I do because, like I said, on my other channel, I said I'm an enthusiast, not necessarily a collector. But these are bricks as we would know them nowadays. But you can tell by the markings, it's a different Lego format. But this brick, I mean, let's take something modern right here. It absolutely could be used today. And nowadays... Is that right? No, that's not right. But nowadays, you know, you could just take a, um, I can't find what I'm looking for, <laughs> a two by two and a two by four, and you get the same form of the, the attraction. And the draw of this piece here, the 702 brick, is that you can do the corner piece without layering, which you could take the, the new one we have now and put three together, you'd have a brick. But this was a made, a ready-made brick, so doing mocks or anything, you could easily do a corner of buildings. But the black one has been the hardest one to find. If you notice how shiny that is, just crazy shiny. That's because the old style plastic was um, different. They still have a slight scent to them, um, even now. And they make this really cool kind of squeakiness. I don't want to snap break something, so I'm going to... But little squeak that little clipping um anyways 702 brick they stopped making these in 1969 i believe you could probably google it this is the oldest 702 brick i have and this these slashes here are sometimes called merston bricks and there's look there's no there's no tubes on the back back in this time lego was still starting to call themselves the automatic the automatic brick company on some cases it was still lego branding lego branding goes back way back to wooden toys with pull pull toys on while we're on that here's another merston piece look how long that is now of course it's ruined it has warped with age probably from heat but look how it's made on the back right it still works mm, kind of sort of um there's i don't know if you can see it but that's lego branding in there and this one actually has a cursive script that we see nowadays more. And we'll show up. Anyways, um, these were like some of the old, they put these slash marks and it caused the brick to expand the set together. This is the cursive style. So these pieces still work relatively and you can see these are probably from the like the mid 1950s around 58 59 probably okay late 1950s um even when i was a child from like my mom would hit like garage cells or we called them rummage cells back then not this kind but this kind of brick was still relatively relatively common or you'd see the one buys the one by sixes one by eights i have a single um have the hollow sockets like this in the back. And we used to use those quite a bit. Those are from the 60s also. Anyways, just talking about how long this great hobby is. What do you collect? Do you have a favorite brick? I'll probably do a community tab too because I really do love these things. I don't really want the clear one, but I seen it one time and I was not okay with paying that much, especially in shipping for a single brick. But uh, some of these things, I've, like this one did come from Denmark. I mean, I literally searched for years. 
And I know sometimes you can just buy sets and I know I'm yapping too long. So I'm gonna switch over to the other video here, but I, I've got bags and bags of them. A little bit weird, maybe, but I just love the things. Anyways, y'all take care. Appreciate the views. Take care. Be safe, guys, gals. Ciao.